2026. We just relocated to another satellite base. This one a little bit better than the last one with all the war going on in the streets. There's still a lot of war going on, but in different places of the country. It's pretty bad. And so, what we're showing here right now is footage of 2024 when the binary was mocked at, was laughed at. We're about to experience Wormwood in 2026. You can see the planets. You can see the planets. I saw a one word four times in 30 years. I thought for sure it was going to be in the rapture. One word hasn't hit yet, it's 2026. I'm coming from 2026 trying to prepare you. Look, it means something when you pick the right person as your politician, as your president. Make sure you do what's right. Do what's right. Come on. They'll sit there and watch this report from the future and not do what's right. So I'll keep bringing messages like this. You guys keep coming. Because you are the resistance. If you're listening to this broadcast, you are the resistance. So, this you will see in the skies. It is the binary system of Planet X. Continue to watch and look for our next event when we stop at another location. And we're going to do a little bit of forensic for you on what looks like an asteroid, but it's not.
it's about 7.30 in Central California. The weather is about 62 degrees. Caught this off of a short video. I caught two pictures of it. Check it out. I'll show you what it looks like. And it was a short video. And so what I did was I did my thing. I, I snapped some shots. I enlarged them, maximized them, you know, increased the pixels, put a better quality to the picture. I didn't do any alterations and adding anything. We're going to go to the, um, the magnifier. I'm going to go to auto contrast. You can't see what I'm doing on the right. I want you to see more of this. Okay, this is auto contrast. This thing is lit up. But I want you to notice around this thing what's really going on. And this is the original first picture I took of it. I zoomed in on it. Not zoomed in, but the way I do it is not a zoom in. A zoom in, you lose your pixelation. So if I go auto contrast by, um, channel is going to separate the light from the metal. You see how different it looks now compared to auto contrast is right there. <laughs> now if I go um, nothing on it, you get a good, really good picture, right? So now I'm going to bring in another picture right now. Hang on a second. This is my morning, it's kind of my southern voice I put on in the morning. And I got my Janis Joplin uh, rumble going because of my matter drug years when I was a kid. So here's going to be a larger, a larger picture. Look at this, guys. And it's a craft. You see the light in the middle of it? Anyway, I just want to bring you this little update this morning and say, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I was talking to Doug, one of my collaborators from Buffalo. I got a lot of footage from Doug. It's just a lot of it's real dark. It's hard to um, make out unless I talk to you for 10 minutes. But there's a little thing over here. I don't know what it is. It's like, if you guys know a 411 on this, tell me. I, I have no idea. It's a craft. Right back here. You know, there's some stuff going on right there. But you see how this thing is like, I think it got shot down and it's coming in for a kill shot. Like it looks like it's going to land in a mountain somewhere. So just keep your eyes open. I have no idea what this footage was. It's just like a short video. I don't think it was fake. I think it was amazing that they saw a shooting star or burning star. Or they called it an asteroid. They did. But this is far from asteroid material, right? So good morning, welcome to CCTV. Go to my video section. I have put up probably about 14 videos last month and every one of them is just some of the best stuff I've ever seen. I'm getting a lot of footage from the Kansas City area, uh, Springfield area, all where there's like just flat fields. So when you look at the horizons on these places, um, when you look at the sun setting, you get the whole sky. And what we're using over that area of the country, uh, Batgirl's doing it, Nikki, um, what we're using is she's using 50 megapixels. So I got a whole series of sun simulators that she sent me, and I'm trying to figure out how to present them to you in a fun way because, you know, I can show you one of the two of them and you would understand what's going on. Well, you know me, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna try to make it into something new. I'm learning a lot more about my program I have, Filmora. Anyways, guys, put in the comments what you think this little snake, this little snake ship, whatever this thing is over here. Is that like a nano, nanotubes connecting, creating some kind of AI? I don't know, I'm just talking, you know. But the black smoke, uh, it's kind of weird, the black stuff right there. See this little object right there on top of the black smoke? What is the black smoke? All right. Inquiring, curious minds want to know. That's definitely a ship. And it's definitely, I don't think anti-gravity ships put out smoke. So maybe it's got a, a leak in the spring on. I don't know. You know, it looks like exhaust. It looks like, a, you know, but then the black stuff. At first I thought it was just black smoke. But that means something's burning. Well, possibly. Look at the stuff coming off the top of that thing. Come on, guys. Now, these could be...
could be a little drone following it. I don't know if there's stars out there. Probably stars. But there could be some drones following it. You got this tube snake over here. All right. Nothing rambling about nothing. I'll talk to you later. Good morning to America. Let's get out of this location.